It's among the largest updates for Elite Dangerous this year. How Plague 2 is a somewhat of an overhaul for many aspects of the game and it's going to change how players interact with things. So the details in this video were revealed today on Frontier's latest live stream, Frontier Unlocked. They're also sent over to me earlier in the day as part of the Elite Dangerous Partner Program. The details touch on just a few aspects of what the Power Play refresh is actually going to be about. And Frontier did confirm that, that internally they are calling this Power Play 2. So just as a reminder, what is Power Play all about? Well, Power Play involves major powers competing for control and influence over territory in the galaxy. And they do this to further their own political goals and agendas. In order for this to happen, it's all done by players effectively and players pledge to one of the many powers. Once pledged, players undertake various activities, different missions throughout the galaxy to help expand that power's influence. The goal is to expand that power into a neighboring star systems, thereby expanding their territory. In return for all this work, players gain rewards for their efforts. So how is this going to change and improve with Power Play of version 2? Well, it turns out that a key focus is on improving the visual representation of a power's influence on a particular star system, as well as the stations that are in that star system. So as powers take control of systems, you'll notice visual changes that are reflected in that power's level of influence through things such as branding, decor, NPC behavior, and other things. And these will all be visible within the activities and locations within the chosen star system. Now, within the uh, live stream, within the details sent over to me, there were three main influence states discussed. There are more, but so far, Frontier are only discussing three of these. So to start with, we got Exploited, and you can see uh, that influence state, how it impacts the station on the screen right here. Exploited then means that the power has just arrived and is imposing control. So you'll notice only minor changes like some banners and graffiti are seen. The locals are unhappy with the uh, new arrival of this uh, or this new power and the changes they're slowly implementing and the graffiti you may notice could well be in protest of this new power's arrival next up we come to fortified and this is where the power's control is becoming more established so you'll notice more significant visual changes within the star system and within stations and it will be things such as permanent decor advertisements action specific vending machines uh, the contents to go along with that of course and other such things will be present. The example on the screen right here shows Ashling Duval taking control over this particular star system. That's very much reflected within the interior details in this station. Next up, the next state is Stronghold. And this is the highest influence level, with the power's branding and control being extensively visible on all aspects of the station. In short, what all of this means is that the power's influence can be clearly visible as you travel around, and this lets players see the impact of the efforts that they're undertaking within these star systems. So no longer will they all be just generic space station interiors, instead they will adapt and change depending on what's going on within that star system. Now, beyond just the visual representation of all of this within stations, Frontier did discuss how the uh, improved accessibility and clarity will be taking place, and this will extend beyond just stations, but also affect the UI as well as the overall user experience. So there's ideas here where they'll make better systems, and systems that are easier to understand and track progress of the ongoing power struggles. For example, the Galaxy map is going to get a bit of a refresh here. This represents a work in progress showing the power play map. Now you may remember previously or currently in the current build that's live, all of this looks like giant coloured bubbles, and it can be very difficult to actually visually see what's going on. This change then makes things a lot easier to see and much uh, well simpler to understand. It means then that you will see a visual representation of the power's territory growing and contracting depending on what's going on with this well, state of power. Now alongside this, there's going to be other improvements for accessibility and clarity, and one of these will be a new user interface element that will visually depict the player's progress, a side's progress or power's progress in any given activity. In short, you'll be able to see what impact your actions are having on any chosen star system. Now, Frontier didn't show this particular new interface just yet, so looking forward to seeing that at some point in the future. And of course, this won't just be limited to the or you as a player. You'll also be able to see what's going on with other powers 
and other players. In short, if another player is trying to push back against your own activities, or if they're trying to reclaim another star system, you will visually be able to see this, so that should help there. Now, another interesting change you can expect to see are Stronghold Fleet Carriers. And these are not just fleet carriers on their own, but they're also accompanied by other ships. So these will be present in Stronghold systems, and they're called Stronghold Carriers, and they act as hubs for the controlling power. Players can come in here and undermine these though through various different gameplay actions. Frontier didn't detail exactly what those actions would be, but it seems it would make logical sense that they would take place around these particular fleets. Hopefully that's something we see more of soon and hear more about at a later date. So overall then, the aim is to make Power Play 2 feel more of an active, dynamic and player-driven system with a clearer back and forth competition and a much easier representation that allows players to see exactly what is going on at any given moment. It seems very much that the focus is on making Elite Dangerous a more dynamic galaxy than it is today. Power Play 2 is going to be releasing in summer. We haven't got an exact month yet or an exact date, but that's the rough release window. And more details are going to be revealed in the lead up to launch. So we can expect to see a little bit more information every month or so, hopefully on or around the same time as Frontier Unlocked. So do let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Is this something you're looking forward to? What do you think about it? What is your take? So that brings us all the way to the end of this video, and thanks again for those of you who watched all the way to the end. And if you are still here, why not watch one of the other videos listed on the screen right here. Thanks again for watching, take care, and I'll catch you next time.